My name's Simon Kennedy and I'm one of the directors and head personal trainers at the club. I started training, I've always really trained, I'm from the Highlands, I used to play shinty football, then I raced motocross for about 15 years, then started to get more into weight training, started doing a few fitness model shows and men's physique shows, so basically my whole life. Now I do mainly weight training, so I do a split, just split my body into separate parts, train that six days a week. Do some, started to do some hit training now, so some conditioning stuff, sprints, pushing the prowler, any of that kind of stuff. Right now I'm, I've only just started dieting last week, so before that I was a bit lazy with it, but just keep my macros kind of about, you know, my protein, fats and carbs, and keep about 3,000 calories just now. Um, try to shed a bit of body fat. Mainly weight loss and body transformations using weight training and specific nutrition guidelines but I, it's, it depends on the client, I can really do anything. My goals right now are just to get athletic uh, so I'll keep the conditioning in there, sort my macros, my food out a wee bit more but basically just to get lean-ish, not stage lean but lean-ish and just stay athletic, fit and healthy. Been in this industry for about 10 years now. It was when I started in it, it was good. It was quite there was like club vibes everywhere and everyone kind of chatted. But I feel like over the last maybe five years, it's kind of gyms, especially in Glasgow, have lost that. There's no club feel. There's no. It doesn't feel like anyone belongs to anything. It's just a head, a number, and a gym basically. So to create this, we're going to make it like a destination for people to come. Like they can train, speak to all the staff sit, chill out at the bar after training, just to create a cool environment to train, like a friendly atmosphere that people actually care what our, the members are doing in the gym, if someone's doing something wrong, help them out with it. Oh, I ran away from home when I was four. I cycled up the A82 on the wrong side of the road to get away from my old man. <laughs> Nearly died. <laughs>